Okay, this how-to video is going to go through some of the, the design rule checks that you can enable, disable inside um, the AllCAD and Allegro PCB editor tools. So by default, the, the design rule checks are online. They're going to run all the time, all the default checks, like your line-to-line, -line, your pad-to-pad. -pad. Um, there, there is an update DRC icon here that we can run. We can also do that from the, the check design status menu. You can see I've effectively I've got the DRC, so if we do a, a, an update DRC, it gives me, I've got 14 DRCs, I can click on this little coloured swatch and I'll get a DRC report, it's telling me I've got some line-to-line -line spacings, and I can obviously click on here, let's just zoom in a bit, and then it will take me to where the DRC errors are, uh, and let me know what's going on, so you've kind of got a general idea to go and fix these. These DRCs are kind of enabled by default, um, so let me just... Uh, Let's just slide this truck out of the way so we'll clear the DRC error. <coughs> so if I go back to the check design status, obviously this is now up to date. We've got a green, and if I run the report, obviously I'm getting zero DRC markers. But the design rules that are turned on are available under the setup menu. There's something called setup constraint modes. And this gives me effectively what, what DRC modes or what uh, DRC rules are specifically turned on or off. So some of them are by default are on, some of them by default are on, most of the default ones like the line to line etc, all your spacing DRCs are turned on, uh, but if we look at things like design rule and we want to start doing things like solder mask checks for example, we would have to come and enable the DRC, so if we go to the solder mask area, I could then say let's do a, a solder mask, um, let's do a solder mask to solder mask, which takes the default kind of shape, I'll go and set a, a value in here, let's go and set this say of, of point, uh, Let's go and set this at 200 mils, for example, just to try and get some DRC errors. We'll then run a DRC check, and then we should get DRC errors on the PCB afterwards. And there you go, obviously the DRC errors have turned up, <coughs> so we click OK to that. We can see we've obviously got DRC errors on the solder mask, and let's actually go and turn on the solder mask layer, so we'll turn everything off. We'll just turn on, say, the solder mask top, and you can see I've obviously got some overlapping distances here between the DRCs.